of this perfect and you start having problems, come to me. I'll be glad to counsel you. Because when you miss what God has for you, you're going to get the reject. And in your eyes, it don't look like the reject. In your eyes, it don't look like second best. But in God's eyes, you have missed the best thing that God had for you. And now you got to get second best. Y'all think it's bad. Y'all think, y'all think I'm joking. Start popping upside the head. Got to go pull up out the club. Drag up out the club. A second name is club. Then you realize that you miss God. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter number. So it says what? Romans chapter number. Don't think of yourself wider than you ought to. For I say through the, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more out of that thought of that, but to think solely as God has dealt to every man to bend your faith. Amen. So John met me out with the LPN. Okay, I had been to school to get the R, but I hadn't got the R. I lived in a studio apartment. I drove a Skylar. Ain't no wrong with Skylar. Be a nice guy. What's the guy? Anyway, that's what I drove. But by the grace of God, I mean, she was seeking God. God sent her. And she was wise to say, Amen. I'm going to seek the Lord to She got married at 22. She could have got married at 21. And she could have got somebody else, somebody else would have came along too. And guess what? God would have sent me somebody else too. You see what I'm talking about? And sometimes when you miss God, you do not go back and correct that thing. Sometimes when you miss God, you're just appointed a season to suffer. And to go through. And to go through. Some of the time, sometimes we'll go through stuff because we, we miss God. God was trying to do this and we can receive it. God was trying to do that and we can receive it. And now we're suffering in the flesh. That's going on in summer, baby. And in the process of time, God don't give you up. In the process of time, God don't give you what? But in the meantime, you got to suffer. You got to suffer. You got to suffer. Amen. All right. First Peter chapter 4, verse 5. We are almost done. The good habit of judging ourselves. Good at it. Good at it. Look in the mirror sometime. Good at it. If you judge yourself, oh my goodness, here we go. Ain't nobody gonna have to tell you that that skirt is too tight. If you judge yourself, ain't nobody gonna have to tell you this and that. If you judge yourself, you're gonna feel it. It'll be too tight. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. First Peter chapter 4, verse 5. We almost done. It's a good habit. Good habit. Good habit. For I know nothing by myself, yet I am not here. Oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong verse. Chapter 4, verse 5. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come. Who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsel of the hearts and then to every man have praise of God. <coughs> Amen. Judging things before time. Judging things before time. Every now and then I look back at the people that judged me and my wife when we got married. And we still married. It might be people thought the marriage wasn't of God. Guess what? They say, and some of them saying, oh yeah, it was of God. It was of God. Because they just, they just they judge wrong. Right? And we have no problem with it. It just happened. We all do that. But if we judge ourselves, we're going to be judging other people so cool. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Why we in our first Corinthians chapter number nine, verse twenty-seven? And we almost done. So I got an assignment for y'all this week. This ain't one of them jumping the shower message. This is a message that we think about and think about and meditate on. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. But I. 
speak out of the body, praying on the subject. Let me, let me lift up verse 26. I never do so run, not as uncertain, so fight, I, not as one that bear, that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Leave that by any means when I have what preached to others, I myself should be a guy. So the preacher got to judge himself. So the apostle got to judge himself. So the bishop got to judge himself. So the evangelist got to judge himself. So the prophet has got to judge himself. So the pastor got to judge himself. So the teacher got to judge himself. Because if they don't take the time to judge themselves, they can be a castaway. We can be a castaway. If we don't judge our own self, we can be the castaway. We can be the one that can wind up going to hell. Oops. Have y'all met someone that's sitting everybody here? Everybody going to hell. Everybody. everybody. No. Delivery person going to hell. Mailman. Everybody going to hell. Everybody. 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 It'll be an unpleasant surprise for them one day to wake up in the hell themselves. We gotta be careful how we judge. The same person that you judge, and I may be a lot of you, they may be a church man. I'm more anointed than you, more faithful than you are, paying more and offer the tax than you do. Living for God and walking this thing more. Got a better marriage than you do. Got a better walk with God than you. Better got more than sermon than you do. Please don't judge people like that. Last week, we done. So the assignment this week is one time, at least one time, some of y'all, the devil will come and try to take this away from y'all. If all y'all do it today, <laughs> if all y'all do it today, I will go home before I go to bed tonight. Say, Lord, if there's anything in me, that you ain't pleased with. Take it. And don't be praying with God. Say, Lord, show it to me. Number one, show it to me. Show me. I thank God for Sister John. I don't need God to show my wife. I want him to show me. Amen. 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 Yeah, it's good to have a husband and a wife. But it's better that God show you something. It's good to have brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. But it's better if God show you. Show you. Say, Lord, show me the error of my way. <laughs> Last week, first minute of chapter number 11, verse 31, we're done. Amen. The good habit. Somebody will go home today and practice that good habit. Before you start putting your mouth out on other people, you're going to look in the mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? And that mirror better say Jesus. It did not say you. <laughs> Jesus. He's the fairest of 10,000. Amen. It ain't you. It ain't us. It's, it's Jesus. Amen. Verse number 31. For if we will judge us ourselves, we should not be judged. Honestly, but when we are judged, we are chasing of the Lord that we should not be condemned. All his bow, all eyes closed today. God, if there's anyone that needs prayer for any reason, for any reason, Lord, call me, God, right now. Lord, deal with me, call me your word, God. Please come for prayer. Somebody want to know what it means to be saved. I thought you never asked. First of all, you need to believe Jesus Christ died and rose again from the grave on the third day. That's the first thing. You need to believe in Jesus. Number two, Acts 2 and 38 says repent. And repent means to change. Ask God, come to God with godly sorrow, with tears, and tell God, I'm sorry for what I'm doing is wrong. And then change your ways. Number three, repent and be baptized every single one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. 